Good morning and a warm welcome to your show, Sunny Mornings in Encinitas. I'm your host, Melissa, and it's Friday, April 5th. Coming up on today's show, we'll get into the surf report and the weather outlook. Then we'll jump into some local news and a few interesting happenings in business, science, and entertainment. But first, you'll be interested to know 403 years ago, today in 1621. The Mayflower departed heading back to England after having deposited 102 pilgrims at what became the American colony of Plymouth, Massachusetts. So now you know. And now you know what time it is. It's time for the surf report. Expect chunky northwest swell mix on Friday with mostly onshore flow, but the morning could be worth a surf if you're a strong swimmer. Saturday morning looks promising for a cleanup session, waist to overhead early, and decreasing size through the weekend. Friday in Encinitas and North County. It's looking real bad, unfortunately, at five to seven feet all day. It's going to be very windy, rainy, and choppy. Time to fire up the Netflix machine. Best time to ride is at 1 p.m. Cause heck, why not? With a zero foot outgoing tide, when the west swell is six feet at 13 seconds and the onshore wind is 18 mile per hour. The first high tide Friday will be five feet just before 7 a.m. with a minus one foot low tide just after two. The near shore buoy at Scripps in La Jolla reads 62 degrees for the water temperature. Checking out the weather in the Encinitas area. This morning it's rainy and feels like 50 degrees with 10 mile per hour wind. The sunset will take place at 712 and it will rise again tomorrow at 629. It looks like we're in for showers with thunderstorms also possible after 11 a.m. It will be mostly cloudy with a high near 56 and wind of 10 to 15 mile per hour with gusts as high as 20. Chance of precipitation is 60% with new rain amounts between a 10th and quarter of an inch, except higher amounts possible in thunderstorms. Tonight, a chance of showers and thunderstorms before 11 p.m. with a low around 50 and more gusty wind. Looking ahead in the weather, Saturday offers sunshine, peaking at 58, with northeast to southwest wind at 5 to 15 mile per hour, and a clear night at 47. Sunday stays sunny, reaching 59, and a partly cloudy night at 53. Monday is mostly sunny with a high of 60, and a clear night at 51. Tuesday is sunny, warming to 64 degrees. Bonjour, food enthusiasts. This podcast is brought to you by Versailles Cafe and Pastries in Encinitas. Nestled on El Camino Real South, just north of Encinitas Boulevard, this cafe is a haven for culinary delights. Indulge in their amazing Eggs Benedict or their gluten-free crepes. You can grab a panini for lunch or just breeze on through to get your morning coffee. They are open every day from eight to five. So stop on by and don't forget to tell them. Sunny morning send you. In local news, this Monday on April 8th, San Diego will witness a partial solar eclipse with about 55% of the sun obscured by the moon. This event marks the last solar eclipse North America will see for 20 years. The eclipse path begins in Mexico crossing the U.S. from Texas to Maine. Although not in the path of totality, San Diego offers one of the best views in California. The next total solar eclipse visible in the contiguous U.S. won't occur until August 23, 2044. Now on to sports. The Oakland Athletics are set to move from Oakland to Sacramento for the 2025 to 2027 baseball seasons, with a potential extension into 2028 before relocating to Las Vegas. 
This decision comes as their lease in Oakland expires, and negotiations with the city have not yielded a new agreement. Sacramento's Sutter Health Park, with a capacity possibly reaching 14,000, will host the A's games. This move is seen as a temporary measure ahead of the team's planned relocation to Las Vegas, where plans for a new stadium are underway, but face funding and legal challenges. Oakland, the A's home since 1968, has seen the team win four World Series and 17 division titles. Last night in local sports, the Clippers at home beat the Nuggets 102 to 100. And in national hockey, the Kings at home beat the Sharks 2 to 1. Tonight, the Padres head on the road to San Francisco to take on the Giants. And the Clippers are at home to play the Jazz. In top news, Amazon has scaled back its just walkout technology from its Amazon Fresh stores due to the need for significant manual monitoring. However, it plans to continue using this technology in specific Amazon Go and UK Amazon Fresh stores alongside smart carts to streamline the shopping process. Meanwhile, startups like Grab and Go and Everseen are advancing cashier free checkout technologies focusing on privacy-conscious methods and improving customer experience. Grab and Go uses computer vision for checkout-free shopping, much like driverless car technology, avoiding facial recognition to protect privacy. Ever seen, facing challenges with its technology at Walmart, raised significant funding and emphasizes non-confrontational corrective measures for checkout errors. These developments suggest a continued push towards enhancing in-person shopping efficiency while addressing privacy and security concerns. In business news, Dell Technologies stock has seen a significant surge, reaching new heights due to the booming demand for AI server hardware. The company's recent success is attributed to the high demand for its AI servers particularly those powered by NVIDIA H100 chips, with a backlog of orders reaching $3 billion. Dell's interest in AI servers extends beyond current backlogs with anticipation for future demand for servers utilizing AMD's MI300 GPU and upcoming NVIDIA chips. This growth is not only limited to AI servers, but also expected to influence AI PCs and enterprise storage sectors, promising a significant shift in Dell's revenue composition towards AI-capable products and services. In crypto movement, Bitcoin is now just under $68,000. Ethereum is at $3,300. And Solana is $179. Moving on to a more local vibe. In our community spotlight on health and wellness, we are working with a national Pilates studio to bring you some free classes, so listen up. Check out Club Pilates with several locations in the San Diego area. Pilates presents a comprehensive wellness approach, cultivating strength, reducing tension, and elevating mental well-being. Scientific research affirms its benefits. So now you can check out Club Pilates for a free class with locations in Encinitas, Solana Beach, Oceanside, La Jolla, and more. Just be sure to tell them Sunny Morning sent you by. And now back to the show. Let's talk tech. Shield AI, a defense technology startup, valued at $3 billion, is acquiring Melbourne-based Sentient Vision Systems to enhance its AI-enabled drone technology. Sentient, known for developing AI solutions that identify objects in real time, will continue to operate as a Shield AI subsidiary, bringing the total employee count to approximately 750. The acquisition aims to integrate Sentient's VIDAR system with Shield AI's drones, significantly expanding search capabilities. 
Founded by a former Navy SEAL, Shield AI focuses on autonomous aircraft operation, aiming to create the world's best AI pilot. With $1 billion raised and ambitions to generate substantial annual sales by 2026, Shield AI is not ruling out an IPO as it focuses on scaling its innovative technologies. And in entertainment news, Action Comics number one, marking Superman's debut, has set a new record by selling for $6 million at auction, surpassing Superman number one's $5 million sale in 2022, and Amazing Fantasy number 15's nearly $4 million sale in 2021. This makes it the world's most valuable comic book. With only about 100 copies believed to exist, from the original 200,000 printed, its rarity and excellent condition contribute to its high value. This sale highlights the enduring legacy and fascination with Superman, coinciding with the production of a new Superman film directed by James Gunn, set for release in July 2025. Well, alrighty folks, it's time for the quote of the day. And today, our quote comes from Superman himself. And Mr. Kent once said, there's always a way. When the odds are impossible, do the impossible. And that's a wrap for this morning. You can check out our Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok for some captivating aerial videos with local news and the surf reports. Have an amazing weekend, my good friends. We'll see you Monday with another episode of Sunny Mornings in Encinitas.